let's just dive straight in. Yeah. You What's know. a healthy relationship? Who? You're a therapist. I am. What's a healthy I am. relationship? Um, I feel like a healthy relationship is, you know, kind of quoting our, our second episode, a relationship where we are given a lot of space. You know, where we're allowed to be ourselves, we're allowed to have shortcomings, and they're not attacked, they're not criticized. You know, they're, um, I think they're people that are safe. I think that's really kind of the root of it, the way that I would talk with the client about it, the way that I would see it myself. Safety, again. Yes. Safety. I like to think healthy relationship is safety, but also like a give and take. Okay. Right? Because I can feel safe with someone, but they don't ever do anything for me. And... And I guess I would argue that, like, yes, you're right. But I think that's, I guess it shouldn't be applied. I shouldn't assume. But I think that um, for me, a relationship isn't safe if I'm not able to participate as well. Because then we feel that kind of gunky, like they're just taking. Take, 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 take. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just to make sure that we're always kind of holding the balance, right? Like sometimes someone's always taking because we haven't set the tone. That we don't say things like, hey, can I give too? And I think too, when we say like relationships, <laughs> I'm imagining, um, I'm looking this way more trying to as 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 you're listening on the podcast i'm looking at the camera that's also on youtube a little bit more today um i think that as we um think about healthy relationships and giving and taking it's not just um romantic because i almost think that we almost immediately go to this like romantic place of like i give a little you give a little i give a little you give a little versus like my boss like I need to show up for them and they need to show up for me, right? Like when we've had really crappy bosses, it's because they demand and they don't give you anything, right? And the same thing with like friendships and like family relationships. There is this like back and forth that's so important. I think that's important to to bring out because I think in sessions that happens a lot too. I I love to use the word relationship, but I feel like clients kind of, they pull back sometimes because they think that I'm talking about romantic relationships. And so I always uh, nudge clients and I say, you know, uh, relationships like friendships, family, yada, yada, yada. Like what we have right now. Right. I right. say that to clients all the time. It's like, we have a relationship. It's like, it's a professional relationship. Yeah. But it's yeah. a relationship. So what we actually can experience in therapy is a really healthy relationship, right? There's clearly yeah. defined boundaries. There's a give and take. Like, And that's where I'll have new clients come in and they'll talk about like horror stories of previous therapists who just sit and like take notes and they're like, they didn't say anything all time. And I'm like, yeah. you have nothing to worry about with me. Yeah. I'm very engaged. I will talk quite a bit. And then I've had other clients who are like, my other therapist just talked the entire time and just gave me stories. And I was like, well, I get where that comes from because I could be guilty of that. But mm-hmm. it's more about like the story should totally reflect what you're going through in your life. Yeah. You know, and just like a relationship, I think a therapeutic relationship is really important because it's it simulates a healthy relationship because we're not – we're not friends, so we don't have that obligation to make sure that we're always taking care of, of um, your, like, this sounds so odd, but taking care of your feelings. Because I think it's our job to instead point out what you're feeling and to help you draw those things out so we can step into places friends can't. You know, when a friend targets something that you feel insecure about, we get offended, we pull it away. But in a therapeutic relationship, we pull it out because we, we very gently nurture it. Yeah. That it's it's safer. It's almost safer for us to be more critical yes. than friendships because, really, like if a therapist pisses you off, <laughs> you can fire the therapist, right? Like yeah. there there is a level of safety there because it's professional versus a friend. If a friend goes, you're kind of being a douche. Yeah, <laughs> like that's gonna hurt your feelings, and you're gonna like worry about losing that friendship. Versus if a therapist calling you out on your BS mm-hmm. behavior. You, yeah, it doesn't feel good, but it's a little bit safer because you can choose yeah. to lead that relationship in a very um, structured way. And I think one thing that's really important for um, just clients to be aware of and clients to know is nothing that we talk about leaves the room, right? We always hear about it, you know, the confidentiality, the privacy, but it's, I think it's important to know. Like part of the safety in a therapeutic relationship is you know that your therapist cannot talk about this stuff with anybody else. So... Mm-hmm.